Hello, dear friends. Hey, guys. Welcome back to the Majestic Family Channel. Uh huh. My name is Jory. This is my lovely wife, Vidime or V. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and comment down below so we can stay in touch. Don't forget to like, share, and turn on your notification bell so, so you know, know when a new video comes out. Thank you. Okay, today, today we've got something crazy for you. All right, this guy here does not consider our children black, so we're going to talk about it. Well, actually, that's not <laughs> totally true. Okay, we did get a message on Instagram from one of our viewers, uh -huh. and she had a question for us, which we will be answering during this sit-down. If you have a question, feel free to find us on IG at... Majestic underscore family eight. That's right. And you can DM us with any of your questions. If we think it is interesting enough to do a sit down, we will. And if not, we can answer you directly. Also, she, she asked this question a very, like a long time ago. Uh -huh. And I know a couple more people have asked questions, but we will get to them. We're trying to keep a schedule. Yep. And Meanwhile, answering your questions, so it will be answered. Yeah, feel free to go ahead and comment those questions, because we love it, and many times it mm -hmm. lines up with the content we that's have in right, mind. That's right, that's right. Yeah. So let's go ahead and read her question. All right, the question was, what conversation are you guys having, or have you had, with the kids as they get older to ensure a healthy identity? So this is from uh, a young lady. Uh, she said... Um, having grown up biracial and married to a white guy, I've been asked, was I raised white? And what race do I consider myself? Mm -hmm. um, she said, my folks said I can choose. And I also talked about how we are actually viewed that we are black who happens to have a white parent. Mm -hmm. uh, she said, overseas, I was never prefaced as being African, whatever the country, like African American. If mm -hmm. I was in France, I was just French. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So she was just curious about what we have told our kids or trained our kids yeah. or taught them about who they are mm -hmm. racially or according to the color of their skin. Yes. Okay. So let's discuss that. Let's talk about <laughs> it. So at the age of seven and eight, the conversation for us started. Sim when Javen and Bella were like seven yeah, and eight. Yeah. Because they were like a lot of like shootings of black yeah. men and things of that nature. So. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, through the grapevine, they kind of heard some discussions right. that we had to talk to them about. And we told them that the world, this is how the world viewed them specifically, yes. was that they were black. Yeah. Um, many, many parts of the world wouldn't see them as mm -hmm. mixed, biracial. They would see them mm -hmm. as black. Yeah. yeah. So, which in itself is problematic, but we will get there later. <laughs> um, so then the conversation kind of stopped from there and then things progressed as they you know made friends and then friends started noticing their hair mm -hmm. the hair was different they wanted to touch it and yeah. so the children were asking questions <laughs> well why do they want to touch my hair right and we again had to explain right. um a lot of that had to do with the area that we're raising them in too right where there aren't a lot of black folks or mixed folks mm -hmm. so that that makes a difference mm -hmm. uh but yeah, dealing with some of those mindsets where people think they can touch your hair, like just walk up and Without touch your permission. hair. Yeah. Yeah. So we talked about it. And at one point, I remember Arabella asking that she wanted to get her hair straightened. And I told her, I said, you know, if you really want it done, mm -hmm. I'll do it for you. Um, but I need you to know that there's nothing wrong with your hair. Right. And, you know, long story short, she's kept her fro. She actually prefers to wear yeah. her hair out. Yeah, she looks gorgeous with her hair She's out. extremely yeah. gorgeous. And um, we had to tell her there's nothing wrong with you. You have the, like, best of the both worlds. You, you have the blackness in you, a.k.a. Congolese, mm -hmm. and you have the American, Canadian, you name it. Like, yeah. Norwegian, it's in you, baby. Yeah. Like, you have the best part. And so, like... That's kind of how we helped her to kind of overcome that right. little insecurity that right. was brought on by quote unquote friends. Yeah, we've <laughs> never we've never um, highlighted differences. Mm -hmm. Like, I think I think the best way to view it is to is to just say that you embrace the difference. You, right. You mm -hmm. you um. We're not we're not saying you know you have to be this or you have to be that. And so the most recent thing that happened was, you know, the situation of 
with George Floyd yeah, and the they, of they Floyd. saw that we were pretty upset and yeah. we talked about it pretty openly. Yeah. And um, I was like, oh, that's it. They're going to know they're black. We're mm. going to be like justice and like mm. just. Oh. So anyway, we were, I was very passionate. He was too. And we're like, oh, they're going to know their blackness yeah. and appreciate yeah. it. And then I think like, we both just became very frustrated. I became very frustrated yeah. with like the people I grew up with. Yeah. That just did not get it. The white people that I grew mm -hmm. up with that just were like, there's no problem. Or and didn't want and, to get it. Right. They didn't yeah. want to understand. They didn't care to understand. Mm -hmm. Like, they were totally indifferent to the fact that mm -hmm. uh, many black people in America are treated extremely poorly. That's right. Yeah. And so, like, once I simmered down, I noticed the children, like, would start, like, begin leading a lot of the conversation with their friends like based on the color of their skin mm -hmm. and so then it reminded me of how i was raised mm -hmm. and so like i remember never hearing an issue about from my parents about white people like mm -hmm. what they felt about white people their thought on white people race just wasn't a big deal right um my parents did have like good experience with white people because they helped the missionary back home and so their idea and their experience of a white person was good and mm -hmm. i felt like that's kind of what helped govern the relationship Jory and i have because i didn't have any preconceived ideas right. um about white people and what they've done to you know black people per right. se and so even when the killing of George Floyd happened, I remember going to my dad and asking him, like, why didn't you warn us? Why didn't mm -hmm. you, like, give us a heads up that this is how we would be treated? Mm -hmm. um, and he just simply said it wasn't constructive. At first, I was a little perturbed, like, it would be nice to know. But then I sat right. down and thought about it, like, that shield, I, I believe that shielded me from constantly going through life thinking first about my skin color mm -hmm. and then the person I am right um versus before there was this confident in me like I knew I wasn't the issue you were the issue right. if I am kind to you if I'm right. polite and respectful there's no reason why you should mistreat me so I kind of took this approach of I trusted everybody until you proved me otherwise right. um and Long story short, I felt like that was more of a healthier approach mm -hmm. than um, telling them constantly, you're black, you're black, you need to remember you're black, right. like you're not white. And yeah. But because truthful, or the truth is that they're both, mm -hmm. <laughs> just yeah. as simple as that, they're both and more. For the children to have the best identity that they can have, mm -hmm. they need to look inward. They need to look at who they are, mm -hmm. who they were created to be. And so not only are you looking in, you're looking up. Right. Keep looking up. That's so right. God created us. The Bible says in his image, in his likeness, it says he knit us together inside our mother's womb, mm -hmm. that he planned our steps. Mm -hmm. He knew who we would be, where we would be, who our parents would be. Mm -hmm. He formed us exactly the way he wanted us. That's right. So our identity, first and foremost, black, white, Asian, Mexican, anywhere, you name it, first of all, is a child of the king. That's right. And then as you get to know the king, he can help you grow in your identity. Mm -hmm. And so we first and foremost want them to know him. Yeah. And understand that they are his mm -hmm. and that they should love people, mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. And that uh, we first of all view someone for who they are. Right. You know, people talk about being colorblind. Mm -hmm. I get that as a concept that you're not, you're not going to let the color stop you from liking right. someone. Right, right. But beyond that, mm -hmm. we should embrace the difference because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Because God is the one who created us all different. Mm -hmm. And then the mixtures of those differences are beautiful too. That's right. Uh, because just because of who he is, this, what, this is what he wanted. In the one man, Adam, mm -hmm. there was every diverse group that exists under, under the sun today mm -hmm. in Adam. Because he was the first man created by God. Mm -hmm. And so from there on, this diversity happened. And now it's starting to come together again, mm -hmm. which is a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. uh, so to me, it, it's wonderful. And so I always tell the kids that they're superpower. They have That's superpowers. Right. They're right. like...
they're like superhuman mm -hmm. because they have the best of all these things. You know, mm -hmm. they have Congolese and all the different uh, types of people that could have mixed in your bloodline in Congo mm -hmm. and maybe even Belgium, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then on my side, there's Norway and mm -hmm. Britain and mm -hmm. Germany and, mm -hmm. you know, who knows where all that was, mm -hmm. but they have all that and they and that makes them awesome because mm -hmm. they can identify with all the truth is bridge. if you tell a child that that's they're right. that they're less they'll probably become less, less that's but right. if you tell them they can do so much more mm -hmm. you can watch them flourish and i think our our idea is that we don't want to like pigeonhole them that's into a right. culture or right. into a uh, a skin color or into a certain thing we want to uh, we want to show them many things we want to we want them to see many things but we don't want to tell them that you fit right here yeah we want them to explore That's right. and love people and help people be themselves yes. and not necessarily i have to choose yeah because i was telling jory like say for instance we took a trip to africa okay um, and we met an American girl mm -hmm. in Africa. Mm -hmm. Belle is more likely to identify with an American girl, mm -hmm. whether she be black or white, just because she has she more. She was raised here. Yeah, yeah, and she has more commonality with an American culturally. Just culturally, yeah. just because they mm -hmm. they were raised similarly. Right. Um, than she would an African, just because. <laughs> The you color think about of skin. you think about the dynamics of the area we're in, where there's Amish, right, and Mexican, right, folks, and right, you know, some white folks too, and mm -hmm. you know, black mixed in. But mm -hmm. like, just the fact that our kids are are in the truest sense African American, because right. you were born in Africa, right, I was born in America. Mm -hmm. Our kids are literally African American, American. yeah, and they're growing up here around you know, these two different groups, That's aside right. from regular white folks, the Amish are white, but they live totally, totally different differently. from, from American regular culture. And then the Hispanic folks that are coming to the area are mm -hmm. fantastic. Their culture is so cool too. Mm -hmm. And so our kids get to experience all of that. So, mm -hmm. you know, what, what are they building into who they are, you mm -hmm. know? And as we're able, we want to show them so many more cultures and mm -hmm. so many more people. Mm -hmm. And we love people and mm -hmm. we're called to people and so that's just who our family is and that's yeah. who our kids will be yeah and so we so. want them to focus more on their character mm -hmm. and who they are yeah like i did i focused on that wait i'm a nice person like yeah. you know i love people yeah. i love to help people so that was always my approach to anybody it wasn't right. that oh they might not like me because i'm black right. that didn't come to my mind until a lot of these heated conversation right has taken place right. and so i've had to do a lot of reflection like oh my word i totally missed that hint i did not pick <laughs> up on it but right. as i was telling you like i almost prayed that i was like naive oblivious to, yeah. to it because it wouldn't I, hinder you as yeah much. I, yes and yeah. that's what i'm nervous to do is try and hinder the children by trying to right. like you say pigeonhole them into a specific mm -hmm people's group right. or skin type right per se we we want our kids definitely if they see injustice to step in absolutely on the side of justice the bible says to do justice to love, love mercy mm -hmm. and to walk humbly with your god right. and so that's our our prayer for them that you know that if they see a black person that's being mistreated mm -hmm. that they would jump in if they see an asian person a mexican person anyone um, a Indian, white person, if European, a white person was yes, being Russian, mistreated. you name it, South American, yeah, Canadian. If <laughs> I can name all of them, Australian. If anyone is being mistreated, <laughs> even white yes. people, they should always stand up and do what's, what's right. What's right. Yeah. Not say, well, yeah. you know, they're white or like yeah. they can figure it out. No, like wrong is wrong, right is right. So right. that's kind of how we're raising our yep. children in the image of you, God. Like how we we're are. Created born into the family of the king that's right we're, we're well we're born in his image mm -hmm. we we bear his image we're part of of him mm -hmm. and we and as we know messiah we become part of his majestic family like that's our right. name says mm -hmm. and so that's primary to our identity and to mm -hmm. our children's identity that they know messiah yeshua and walk with him and love people and so that's, I think that's primarily where we're at with raising the kids. Yeah, so to answer your question, we're, we're raising our children in the likeness of Christ to the right. best of our ability. Right. Not denying yeah. their black African Absol heritage. They can't. Not they're denying right their yeah. white 
yeah. American heritage, right. but embracing it fully, mm -hmm. but understanding that that's not the deepest part of who they are. Yeah, so. that's right. That's just skin deep. Right? That's just the paint. The paint. <laughs> that's just the melanin. Yes. <laughs> or the lack thereof. Some of us are blessed more than others, right? <laughs> that's right. We're kissed by the Lord to be dark. Amen. I receive it. <laughs> So thank you again for that wonderful question. Yes, if, thank you. If anyone else has any any question, feel free to find us on G at Majestic underscore family eight. That's right. <laughs> I was trying to trip them off. <laughs> okay. So thank you so much for that question. Uh -huh. Keep the questions coming. We love making videos that include your questions and our answers. That's right. And with that, dear friends, keep, keep looking, looking up. up. <laughs> so thank you so much for that wonderful question. Yes, Again, wonderful. Did I say wonderful? <laughs> <Yeah>, Madea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take two.